The Invitation was a film I flat out hated when it was released. Not just because of the critical acclaim it got that I was barely jealous of and the scores of people telling me to watch it, but the fact no one agreed with me on the biggest flaw I saw with the film. The film involves a group of friends having a dinner party. Our main character, Will, is returning to the house he shared with his ex-wife after a messy separation that happened when their son died. They then settle in for a night of laughs and rebonding, but he soon starts to relive the trauma of his child's death, all the while something seems off with the host of the party to him. Ooh, that's interesting. They invite people no one's met before and all start talking about a radical movement they've joined named The Invitation. Just gotta lather it up. Keep watching. Ten seconds at least. I went into this with a bad mindset the first time through. I just kept thinking, right, when is the reveal? When's it gonna blow up? Rather than just living in the moment of the movie minute by minute. The problem I had is that the main character believes something is up, and the movie tries to build suspense to see if he's right or it's all in his mind. I was just sat there going, come on, something has to be up. It's a movie. It's not like it'll get to the third act and everything is going to be a big misunderstanding. It's a horror movie for Christ's sake. I didn't give it the respect it deserved and tainted my experience with it because I was so focused on clarifying my presumptions. In short, I was being an asshole. For all I knew, it might have kept it vague to the end and allowed viewers to draw their own conclusions as to whether or not this guy's nuts beyond the credits. So re-watching it, I went in with the right attitude and took in the movie on its own terms rather than just being a dick. Wow, what an asshole. The whole film is stewed in nervous energy. You know something has to give and you're just waiting for the moment that tension finally snaps. Hell, it's almost a relief when it does because you're no longer uncomfortable. But instead, that awkwardness is replaced with worry because then it becomes a proper horror film. It's a meticulous and calculated experience that's designed to delude you into thinking you have it figured out every five minutes, but you never do. There's little details that make you question everything. Why are the doors to the house locked? Is it just for security, or is it to block an exit and stop people from escaping? It seems trivial, but little things you wouldn't normally think of like this all add up, and the film focuses on just the right details to make you both support the character's worries, while also remaining dubious that he's just deluded. If you're not a fan of slow builds, then this isn't for you. Most of the film is dominated by long dialogue scenes where the characters are bonding or being made uncomfortable with various outbursts and accusations. It feels like a real dinner party, albeit with sinister undertones. There's clearly something going on, but the movie actually does a pretty decent job at making you question if the main character is having a stressful episode or these people are out to harm him in some way. However, the fact still remains. Something has to give. Either he's right or he's wrong. But here's where I went wrong upon my first viewing. Both answers can lead to a multitude of ramifications. If he's right, then what the hell's going on? Are they about to be sacrifices for some cult? Is it some kind of revenge happening? You just don't know. And if he's wrong, then is he gonna snap and cause a scene? Will it be a bitter ending with a case of mistaken thought? Maybe he is crazy and is going to cause unjust harm to these people and become a third act villain. That's what really keeps you watching, and makes you really listen to the conversations going on for any clues. The experience is still cornered by this idea though. It is just waiting for the big climax the whole time, I could never shake that feeling. When you do slow building terror, you have to make that climax land. If the last act is unsatisfying and the payoff not worth the wait, then the whole film will be tainted as a result even if it was going well up to that point. And here, once that climax comes, I'm happy to say it delivers. Other movies such as House of the Devil are big build-ups to poor payoffs, 
but this one is satisfying. With all your sneaking suspicions either confirmed or denied, while giving us some fantastic horrifying scenes. You're all smiles, spewing out all this jargon with these two in tow. Don't tell me that this is normal. The invitation. It helps people. Well, everybody's in love. No, it's a fucking cult, Miguel! Hey. It's a fucking cult! Will, Will sit down! No, no, look, look at the video, okay? It's not about communion, it's not about family, it's, it's about fucking denial. You are out of line. All right, no, it's about denial, or you know what it is? It's a fucking brainwash. Since the movie is mostly dialogue driven, it allows the superb acting on show to shine. John Carl Lynch is especially good in this. He curves the line between wise figure and charismatic creep really well. He has a speech about an argument he had with his wife and he holds your attention for a good few minutes purely through his subtle performance. He's such an underrated actor. But everyone's good in this. They're all zany and secretive, almost like cleaned up crack addicts that could pop off at any second, it's great. The soundtrack is minimal, but what's there has purpose. The film breathes slowly and is dominated by delicate stringed music that adds to the atmosphere which is gloomy and hollow. Then there's these peaks and valleys of really intense bursts of volume that highlights the growing fear everyone is going through. All round, it just looks and sounds terrific. Director Karen Kusama really knows how to make a frame ooze suspicion and worry. The Invitation is a film that won't be for everyone, but if you're in the mood for a slow building horror with a dynamite climax, then it won't disappoint you. Just go in with the right mindset and it's a good time. Cheers. Will, you do not want to go this Let's way. Let's go, Kira. We're leaving right now. No, 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 no,